Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over video. So in the last video, we talked about sound and video is kind of the same thing. It has sound, only it has video. So we have to do a few things a little bit differently, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add video. So resource manager dot add video, not add sound, okay? We're gonna call this one sound and I had a WebM format right here and it accepts the video types WebM and AUG, all right? Um, where is it? Okay, add video. I'll call it sound because it's the last video, the sound video, um, the stage XL on sound. Images stage XL sound dot webm right here in the images folder. Okay, same thing. But what we're gonna say is that sound get video sound. So not get audio, get not get sound, get video, and we're gonna call it sound because it's right here. Okay. But here, not only do we have to have a, an audio, but we have to render the video itself. All right, so we have to actually render it. How are we gonna do that? Well, we can make a new object, a new video object, and then we can add it onto the stage, onto the stage itself, add child, so that you can actually visually see it. If you don't do that, you'll hear it, but you won't see it, okay? And then on loading, I'm gonna say sound.videoelement.play, all right? Problem with it is, you know those websites you go to and just automatically plays? I find that super, super annoying. So, and there's no way to really, first of all, identify it or shut it down, right? So it's kind of like, okay, stop. So I'm going to be really nice and on loading it, as soon as it loads, it's going to play. But if I, I do a mouse click on the video, it's going to listen for it and it's going to say, is it playing? Then pause it. Otherwise, if it's not playing and I click on it again, it'll play again. Okay, so let's give that a try. Hi everyone, this is Richard. Okay, video, so I'm going to pause it so this should... by clicking on it, right? I'm going to click on it again and it's going to play again. Be pretty straightforward. Um, we're... All right, so again, this is pretty straightforward too. So the there's a little bit more complicated obviously because we're going to have to, you know, make some changes to the size and the boundaries and stuff like that. But that's just the general idea in terms of how to get a video onto the screen itself. Not particularly complica complicated. It's a lot more complicated when you want to move in here, here, and all sorts of places and distort the video and stuff like that. I think Stage XL is capable of that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go over it, um, you know, me personally, I'm not big into visual appearance, so kind of this is good enough for me. Um, if there's a real demand for it or something like that, maybe we should go over it in the future, okay? Um, but again, notice I'm clicking off the object, left clicking, nothing's happening. I'm clicking on the object, Remember when we talked and, about it, and it starts back up again, okay? So that's video in Stage XL. Thanks.